Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Pedro Munoz versus Kyler Phillips. Pedro Munoz is 1-3-1 in, in his last five fights, plus 185 underdog, 37 years old, 5-6 with a 65-inch reach. Again, fighting Kyler, the Matrix Phillips, 11-2, 4-1 in his last five fights. That one loss is against William Paiva, where he threw everything but the kitchen sink, and he just couldn't get Paiva out of there. Actually, I think that's some of the reason why Paiva got destroyed against O'Malley. Not saying O'Malley wouldn't have beat him anyways, but it sure didn't help uh, get taking the beating he did against Kyler Phillips. But uh, minus two, a 225 favorite for Phillips, 28 years old, 5'8", with a 72-inch reach, 2 inches in, in height, and what is that? 7-inch reach advantage for Kyler Phillips. Nothing new for the young Punisher in Pedro Munoz. Not so young anymore, but still. Average fight time is, uh, for both guys over 11 minutes pedro munoz has never been finished um uh, yeah never been finished in his career he has 13 finishes out of his 20 wins and i really really like pedro munoz he's 20 and 8 overall look at the competition he's fought he's 10 8 and 2 10 8 0 oh, and 2 in his ufc career but yeah look who he's look who he's fought it's crazy you look at it um Let's see, yeah, Rob Fawn, John Dotson, Brett Johns, Brian Caraway, Cody Garbrandt, Sterling, Edgar, Rivera, Aldo, Cruz, O'Malley, Gutierrez, Phillip, uh, Vera, Phillips. Crazy. Personally, I thought he beat Cheeto Vera. I thought he beat him two rounds to one. I, I know that's a hot take. I'm sorry. Kyler Phillips, 11-2, way less experience. Hasn't fought nearly the competition that Pedro Munez has. 5-1. He has seven finishes of his 11 wins. Again, does tend to slow down later in the fight. We already know what the game plan for Pedro Munoz is. Pedro Munoz is a lot of pressure, uh, kicking the legs, getting close, and using his superior boxing. Um, uh, strikes landed per minute is 5.45 to 5.36. Actually throws more than Kyler Phillips. That's kind of surprising. Striking accuracy is 43 to 46. Absorbed per minute 6.14 to 3.36. So he gets hit a little bit more too. Defense 56 to 61. Takedowns 0.47 to 2.87. 19% for takedown accuracy is 46. Takedown defense 82 to 70. And they both go for about half of, you know, about a submission, a fight. So every other fight. So yeah. Kyler Phillips coming off of the win against Ronnie Barcelos. Ronnie Barcelos pretty big win there but again hasn't fought the caliber of competition that uh pedro munoz has that's just the reality of it is a pretty big uh, favorite minus 225 which i don't think i agree with i think the biggest thing for phillips is going to be his kicks how does munoz deal with the punches but disguising the punches to throw his kicks or disguising his punches with his kicks so that's going to be the issue i think a little bit um, I want Pedro Munoz to win this. I think he can win it for sure. I got Pedro Munoz at plus 185 underdog. And this fight goes the distance, I would assume. But again, Munoz has never been finished. So, And I don't think Phillips has either. He's lost two decisions. Yes, two decisions. So I I, I think this fight's going to be really fun. I think it's going to be good. I think a lot of it is Munoz playing, uh, fighting from down on scorecards, coming back as the fight goes on. I like Pedro, the young Punisher, to win this one. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you're picking. Peace.